Taiwanese author San Mao, seen in an old video. Many people in the Chinese-speaking world have read her books, especially in the 70s and 80s when she was most famous. The novelist, translator, and writer's work ranges from autobiographical writing to travel writing and reflective novels to translations of European comic books. Her fans will soon have a new place to learn more about her, Dinghai District in Zhoushan City in China's Zhejiang province. Though San Mao was born in Chongqing, her family was actually from Zhejiang. Her family moved to Taiwan at the end of the Chinese Civil War when San Mao was just six years old. But like many people who came from China at the time, her family still considered Zhejiang their home province. To promote tourism in Dinghai District, the local tourism bureau is promoting San Mao tours. Besides renovating her ancestral home and establishing a San Mao Essays Award, they're also making preparations to open a San Mao Museum. It's expected to open in 2017. San Mao's older sisters said that since 2001, the family has donated many items to Dinghai because it's their hometown. San Mao's thirst for literature as a child led her to begin writing at a young age. In 1976, her autobiographical book, The Stories of the Sahara, became an instant success in Taiwan, China, and Hong Kong. It recounted her experiences living in the then Spanish-controlled Western Sahara with her Spanish husband, Jose, whom she met in Madrid and later married in 1973. The travel log and memoir provided Chinese readers an eye-opening view into life in the desert and gave San Mao a reputation as a travel writer with a unique voice and perspective. But tragedy befell her in 1979 when her husband drowned while diving. In 1991, she committed suicide days after a cancer scare and losing a Hong Kong Movie Award for her film script. It was believed she was either disappointed about not winning the award or was still depressed about her husband's death. She published more than 20 books during her writing career, and they remain popular today. CNA, Zhou Shan.